Compression is one of the most basic tools for recording and mixing, and is a major component of the sound of modern recordings. Not surprisingly, every DAW includes at least a basic compressor plugin, but some go considerably further. Logic is one of those. Built into Logic are several compression tools that are capable of providing almost every type of compression you might need in any situation, from basic squeezing and mixing, to character compression for more subtle sound shaping, to multiband control and limiting in both mixing and mastering applications. This course will cover several of Logic's included compressors. The main focus will be the primary compressor plugin, which offers no less than seven distinct compressor models, each with its own particular flavor of compression. The meat and potatoes model is the Platinum Digital Compressor. This is the most full feature design of the lot and offers basic, clean digital compression with a full set of controls for shaping the response in every situation. But besides the basics, the Platinum Compressor also provides more advanced tools, like the ability to set the compressor's detection behavior, which determines its response characteristic. And all the compressor models include a full set of controls for sidechain compression, distortion, for adding some analog edge to the sound, and a convenient option for parallel compression. The additional models emulate the sound of six classic analog compressor types. While they may not be as specific as some model compressor software, which may drill down to the component level, they succeed in capturing both the dynamic response and the analog character of those famous hardware units, providing a wide range of options when it comes time to add a little squash to a track or two. As the graphics reveal, the compressors modeled include the classic optical compression qualities of the vintage Opto model, clearly modeled on the tube-based Teletronics LA-2A, the granddaddy of compressors. The two FET, or FET models, Studio FET and Vintage FET, capture the sound of two versions of the Uri 1176, whose FET transistors lent it a fast response and edgy sound that's pumped up drum tracks on countless recordings, also adding its magic to many other instruments and voices. And there are three versions of the industry standard VCA compressor design. Studio VCA most likely emulates the clean, tight sound of a Focusrite Red VCA compressor, while the vintage VCA and classic VCA models provide the more distinctive character of two famous VCA compressor designs. Vintage VCA offers a sound and response based on the SSL 4000 series Master Bus compressor, known for providing the glue that's held many mixes together and Classic VCA emulates the compression qualities of classic DBX compressors. DBX is the company that introduced VCA-style compression. In addition to the versatile compressor plugin, Logic also offers several limiters. The compressor plugin itself incorporates a simple limiter in the output as a final, independent level control, and there are two dedicated limiter plugins. The basic, general-purpose limiter provides two flavors of control over peak levels, while the adaptive limiter, or add limiter, is dedicated to mastering applications as the final processor in the final stage of production. But before I jump into the specifics, the next video will be a very basic primer on compression for anyone who thinks they might benefit from a brief overview, or review, of the basics of compression and limiting.